Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget like and subscribe. But you just gotta applaud the effort of Michael Vico. Earlier we heard Cell uh, say na baka di na siya makabalik, but here he is getting a turnover and forcing another possession. Oh, Elon fires and misses. Zamboanga has to bring this down smoothly. Now they get the foul on Wiko. This last two minutes is brought to you by Embassy Whiskey. Chill muna tayo. You know, Javi, Michael Wiko at some point was at the corner sa tulo ng bench ng Nueva Ecija. He was crying. And his wife was uh, helping him out, comforting him. You see how emotional this player is. He has always been like that because he just wants to fight for his team. Well, he has always worn his heart on his sleeve every game. Hindi yan nagtitipid sa intensity, pati sa emotion. And that's what you just love about Michael Wico, you know. A great, great player in that regard. But right now, it seems his efforts will fall short. Pero titignan natin, may oras pa dito. Wico's not even wearing a bandage on his wrist. 71 61 free throws converted jv marcelino is playing the game of his season the mapping gets that steal which has been a story in this game the turnovers are never see are just really hurting them well they're giving them a dose of their own medicine talking about the zapaga family brand sardines on the nueva Ecija rice vanguards we said earlier, two teams, same play style, pero kaninang effort, kaninang energy, ang mananay, who wants it more? And right now, for majority of this match, except for that period in the third quarter where Nueva Ecija went on that 12-1 to blast, it has been all Zamboanga. It started off with Tosi Tancinco making threes, JV Marcelino driving and driving, Getting the support of Lester Prosper, who now celebrates with that Stephen Curry sleeping celebration at the sidelines. Papatanong ka kung zapong ganyo din si Lester Prosper. 72-61, our score. Turnover story, plus six for Zamboanga. A miss for Macaloni, but Dumapi could not control that rebound. In uncharacteristic, uncharacteristic of the Rice Vanguards, a lot of forced shots, a lot of rushed situations para sa kanila. And they're usually very much under control for most parts of the games. But right now, a lot of baskets na talagang hindi nila ma-shoot because they're so out of control. Miscue here between JC Marcelino and Jas Bautista. Again, they could not control the rebound. But they're smiling because they do have an 11-point cushion. Baseline inbound. Never see a. They have been missing a lot of shots here tonight. Bounce pass. Mabula. That's a foul. On Chris Dumapik. The basket is going to count for Michael Mabula. That to be a dangerous situation for Zapwaka. There was no play for the basketball. It was quite deliberate. And our referees will review this and see if it could be in the unsportsmanlike nature. That could be a big call, right? Mukhang ordinary foul lang. So there will be a bonus free throw for Michael Mapulak as he got hit by Chris Dumapig. Hard hit. A lot of physicality inside all game long. But as you mentioned, still a long game if you think about it. 87 seconds in basketball is like an eternity to some people. Oh yeah, definitely. 72-63. And with that defense of Neva Isia, Zambanga has to be really careful. Well, conversion here on the free throw by Michael Mabula. A stop, maybe a turnover, and then a three-pointer could definitely change the complexion of this match. Remember, Zambanga almost did the same thing in game number two. They only lost by one. Bautista will slow it down. Has to be careful here. Jab still has it. Kick out. Aguilos. Wisely will give it to his MVP, JC Marcelino. Zambongenos now celebrating. Nine point lead, one minute and five seconds remaining. Bautista for the dagger. That's good.
75-63, Palma with the layup. Everything now going Zamboanga's way. 10-point lead, but again, they still have to be careful. Then on the shot clock, 38 on the game clock. Zamboanga up by 10. Here comes the MVP. JC, pass inside. Dumbabig, that's too strong. Another NB go. Manalang on to Biton. Cross down the middle. He loses the basketball. And a charge against Chris Biton. This three point shot is brought to you by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. He hasn't been really converting all night long, but when it comes to this perfect moment, Japs Bautista will not be denied. Uh, the bank is open at 9 o'clock p.m. Para kay Japs Bautista, the first three-pointer of Zamboanga outside Tosi Tansiko, and came at a time when it was very much needed to secure this victory para sa kanila. 23 seconds remaining here. In game number three, there will be a timeout. What a game it has been, especially for Zamboanga, as this could be, this would most likely be their first franchise victory in MPBL Finals history. As for Nevaisia, they still have two opportunities to win that championship if they do lose today. Again, game number four will happen in this very venue this coming Monday. So to everyone involved, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to cancel your weekend plans because we will be staying here in Zamboanga. If Zamboanga wins again this coming Monday, then that means we will all fly back to the north and we'll have a road trip once more for one last time to the Nueva Ecija Coliseum in Palayan City for a game number five. But that will only happen if Zamboanga will be able to defend their home court today and on Monday. JC Marcelino, all-around performance once again. Nine points, ten rebounds, and nine assists. A near triple-double for the MVP. But right there, JV Marcelino taking the cudgels from his brother today to be the one to spearhead the attack of the Zamboanga family's brand, Saratines, and lead their squad in extending this national final series to a game four. Tough pass right there. JC will have to cross it. Tansinko. They go to Palencia. 18 seconds remaining here. No more shot clock. Tosi. Wang hindi na foul ng Nueva Ecija. They're just pressuring to try to get the steal. That's it, folks. The series is extended. The Zamboanga family's brand sardine successfully defend their home court for game number three. And we will be back here in the Mayor Vitaliano Diagan Coliseum this coming Monday for Game 4. What a game it was for Zamboanga. They just really doused cold water on the championship-seeking Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards in this game. Doing a lot of things to rile up their home crowd and draw that energy and get the victory in today's game. This player of the game is brought to you by OK Bet, the official partner of the MPBL with OK Bet on the win. JC Marcelino still has best player of the game numbers if you would think about it, but it was just definitely a bigger game for his twin brother, JB. Well, we said uh, at the top of our coverage, Zabwaga has to share the wealth, and that is exactly...